assalamu alaikum students welcome back in today's lecture we are going to study subsequences and some important theorems regarding subsequences like bolzano weierstrass theorem which forms the basis for cauchy criterion for the convergence of a sequence so let's get started so we are going to define a subsequence of a sequence okay so let us consider a sequence sn of the form 1 by n so here n goes from 1 to infinity and now let us list the terms of this sequence so our sequence is so 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 6 1 by 7 up to so on and so forth so this is our sequence sn and if we extract the terms of this sequence like so let us form another sequence by extracting some of the terms from this sequence like 1 over 2 1 over 4 1 by 6 so 1 by 8 and so on okay so here we have extracted some of the terms of our original sequence and we have listed them in the same order in which they were present in the original sequence and here we get another sequence and this sequence is called a subsequence of this sequence okay so this sequence is a subsequence of sn okay the subsequence of a sequence is obtained by extracting the terms of that sequence and listing them in the same order in which they are present in the original sequence similarly 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 6 and 1 by 7 so this is also a subsequence this is another subsequence of this sequence sn and how about this sequence which is 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 3 1 by 7 and 1 by 6 so is this sequence a subsequence of sn so here as you can see that here we have taken the terms of the sequence sn but these terms are not in the same order in which they were present over here so this sequence is not a subsequence okay so this is not a subsequence of sn okay so a subsequence of a sequence is an ordered subset of that sequence okay so in a subsequence the order of the terms must be preserved okay so in a subsequence the terms must have the same order in which they are present in the original sequence okay so we can define a subsequence a subsequence of a sequence sn is an ordered subset of
S n. Okay, so the subsequence of a sequence S n will be an ordered subset of S n. So it is an infinite collection of the terms of S n written in the same order in which they are present in Sn. A subsequence of the sequence Sn where n goes from 1 to infinity is denoted by S n k where k goes from 1 to infinity. Okay. Okay. So, this is the symbol that we use for subsequence. Okay. So, here we can write that these two are basically the subsequence of S n. So, we can denote them with S n k where k goes from 1 to infinity. Similarly, this is also another subsequence S n k where k goes from 1 to infinity. Okay, so a subsequence of a sequence S n is another sequence in which the terms are extracted from the original sequence S n and written in the same order in which they are present in the original sequence. Okay, so now we are going to study some theorems regarding subsequences. So, number one, if a sequence converges to a limit. then every subsequence of that sequence converges to the same limit. Okay, so if a sequence is convergent and it converges to a limit, then every subsequence of that sequence will also converge to the same limit. Number two, if every subsequence of a sequence converges to the same limit then that sequence also converges to that same limit ok and number 3 and this theorem is a very important theorem and this is called Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem so Bolzano 
वायर्स स्ट्रॉस थ्योरम ओके एंड दिस थ्योरम इज नेम्ड आफ्टर टू मैथमेटिशियंस बोलजेनो एंड वायर स्ट्रॉस सो दिस थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट every bounded sequence has a convergent subsequence okay so according to bolzano white strauss theorem every bounded sequence has a convergent subsequence okay and in our lecture number 19 we proved that every cauchy sequence is a bounded sequence so according to bolzano white strauss theorem so a cauchy sequence which is bounded will have a convergent subsequence okay so according to bolzano white strauss theorem every cauchy sequence has a convergent subsequence okay since every cauchy sequence is a bounded sequence so from bolzano white strauss theorem every bounded sequence has a convergent subsequence so every cauchy sequence will also have a convergent subsequence okay and this theorem that every cauchy sequence has a convergent subsequence will lead us to another theorem which is called cauchy criterion for the convergence of a sequence and that theorem is a sequence of real numbers is convergent if and only if it is a cauchy sequence okay so this theorem is known as cauchy criterion for the convergence of a sequence okay so in today's lecture we studied subsequences we defined a subsequence of a sequence and we talked about some important theorems regarding subsequences and we did not prove these theorems in today's lecture so we will prove them in the next lectures so see you in the next lecture